and I am an instructor at Yoga Girls by Allure. I am passionate about aerial arts and yoga. The aerial yoga class we offer is a fusion of the two. It is an isometric, low impact form of exercise that is very versatile, can be tailored to fit your individual needs, whether you need a restorative, rehabilitative approach, or desire a fast-paced cardiovascular workout. The hammock is a great tool to introduce students to certain postures, such as a warrior one, allowing students to attain an ideal alignment that may be more elusive on the mat at first. It can also be used to deepen your practice as you attempt postures that may challenge your balance, such as a warrior three, or even a handstand. Now for my seasoned yogis, using the hammock as a prop can put a really cool twist on certain postures, offer a really refreshing perspective, such as mountain pose. The hammock can also be used as leverage to feel a deeper stretch than you would on the earth in, say, a cobbler's pose. Inversions are also a lot of fun and have great cardiovascular benefits. They also help to decompress the spine, allowing synovial fluid to run through and lubricate every vertebra. Inversions also help develop our proprioception, which is our knowledge of our body and space. Deepening this mind-to-body connection and seeing our practice as a meditation and movement is really the primary focus of yoga. I believe any activity can be performed through a yogic lens when we recognize the breath as the foundation for our practice and use it to connect with and rediscover our bodies as we allow this life force to be in our entire beings. In yoga, we believe the inner creates the outer, always. As we deepen our awareness of and capacity for the breath, we begin to see how every thought manifests itself within the body, and we're able to mindfully release our judgments, expectations. This opens ourselves up to an array of possibilities that perhaps are already present but that we may not always notice or even be willing to accept. I hope this has inspired you.